Hi and welcome back. Now in this chapter, we are going to go through the replication options that are available for a storage account. So this is important from an exam perspective. So again, the different replication options that are available for a storage account. These are the general ones. Again, it depends upon the kind of storage account you choose, whether it's blob storage, general purpose V1 or general purpose V2. But let's look at the overall replication options that are available. So we have local redundant storage. We have zone redundant storage. We have geo redundant storage. And then finally, we have read access geo redundant storage. So let's go through each option one by one. Now, when you are looking at local redundant storage, so this is your first replication option. So let's say you have a storage account and then you have your data center for Azure. Now, when you choose local redundant storage has your replication option, then the underlying data is replicated to underlying storage units. So these are different racks which are used to store your data within a particular data center. So when you store your object in the storage account, that same object gets replicated to different storage units within a data center. So even if one storage unit were to fail, because the other units are still available, that means your object will still be available in your storage account. So this replication option gives you better availability of your object within a particular data center. But if a data center goes down, then your object will not be available because this only ensures availability within a data center itself. And if your entire region goes down, again, you have the same problem. But this is the least expensive option when you're looking at redundancy. So if you're asked to choose the least expensive option for replication, then you have to choose local redundant storage. Next, we have zone redundant storage. So again, we're taking a case of our storage account. And now what we have is we have multiple data centers. So in local redundant storage, we had only a single data center. Over here, we have multiple data centers which come into play. And now you have storage clusters in each data center. So when your object gets written onto your storage account, that object gets replicated across the different storage clusters in the different data centers. What is the biggest advantage is that even if a data center were to go down, you have other data centers in place and so your object will still be available. But again, if the entire region goes down, then the object is not available. So we still have a problem when it comes to region-wide disaster problems. So then we come to our next option, which is geo redundant storage. So over here, again, we have a storage account, but now we have multiple regions which come into the picture. Now, initially within a particular region, the replication technique used is local redundant replication. So again, you have your storage units within each region. Now, when an object is written to a storage account, it gets copied onto both regions. So it's first available in each storage unit using local redundant replication. And then after that, it gets replicated onto another region. So now here, even if one region were to go down, your other region would still be available. And this gives you the highest redundancy for your object. 
So in the replication option, there was one more. So we had local redundant, zone redundant, geo redundant, and we also have read access geo redundant storage. Now the additional option or feature that's available with read access geo redundant storage is that it allows you to read the data replicated in the secondary region. So you have two copies of your data which you can read. One is in the primary region and the other is in the secondary region. With geo redundant storage or replication hazardous, the data in the second region is only accessible if the primary region goes down. So this is the key difference. Now in the read access geo redundant replication option, this is the most expensive. It gives you the highest redundancy option and the highest availability, but at the same time also understand that it's the most expensive option. Right, so this marks the end of this chapter in which we have seen the different replication options available with storage accounts.